Hello, this is Watch All About with another watch review, and in this review, we are looking at another offering from Nove or Nove. Uh, I reviewed their Trident a little while ago, and it's a, a pretty uh, substantial and extremely thin watch for around $320. So I was really impressed by this because it's something a bit different. Yes, the aesthetics aren't for everyone, however, it's still a really good, solid watch for n whole not, uh, not a whole lot of money. So this is the Craftsman. Uh, an alternative diver from Nove. So without further ado, let's pop it open. So you get this little travel pouch, which I always prefer a travel pouch rather than a box because you actually get to use it. Just a little tag there, uh, manual and warranty at the top there, a little uh, polishing cloth, and very well and neatly packaged within here, within layers and layers of foam. So if I just take this out, you'll see we have the watch in question. Let's just take that out. So a uh, decent packaging, something you can actually reuse as well, you know, when you're traveling, much prefer something like this than a wooden or plastic box that you can't really use again. This then is the Craftsman. Now, very, very unique watch. I don't usually like watches with wood in them. However, this one really struck me and uh, caught my eye. As you can see, the wood goes throughout the case. It's almost like a central barrel uh, of the case, and then it has this uh, external um, exoskeleton. So it really, really did catch my eye. Uh, the price is more expensive than uh, the Trident. So this comes in at around £455 or $580. It is Swiss made. Uh, it is quartz as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just something a little bit different, really well built as well. And you can see here we have something a little bit unusual. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but we don't have any crowns. So we have a really unusual setting system for the movement. Um, so we'll discuss that in a little bit closer detail. So first off, uh, the specs, 50 millimeters in diameter. It is an absolute beast. Um, I've got a slightly over seven inch wrist uh, for reference. 50 millimeters in diameter, a height of 13.2 uh, mil, still quite tall, but not as tall. Some watches, you know, can go up to 15 mil, so um, not a, a crazy height. Obviously, it does have an entire setting mechanism within the case back, uh, and a lug to lug length of 60.8 millimeters. So, all in all, it is a pretty large watch. Uh, certainly, if you have a uh, wrist under seven inches, I would probably say it's not necessarily going to look too right on you. However, it is exceptionally comfortable. If you can see there, it molds my wrist really nicely. Um, the weight is 127 grams as well, so it's not, it's weighty enough to feel decent quality, but it's not so weighty that it's uncomfortable to wear. Obviously, the really thick strap helps with the comfort as well, but I just think the, uh, the way the case is shaped, yes, it is large, but it is very, very comfortable, and it is actually easy to wear it for a very long amount of time. Uh, so very large. Uh, that's the uh, the takeaway point from that. Um, Twenty atmospheres or two hundred meters water resist resistant. So it is a proper dive watch. You can go diving with it. I don't know how the wood would react with water. I'd probably just suggest you uh, keep it a bit uh, clean and tidy after a dive. Uh, you don't want the salt water affecting it too much or fading. Um, the lug width. Now it's a bit of an unusual uh, shaped. Uh, end of the strap. So the actual external lug width here is 27 and a half mil and then this internal section here is uh, 16 mil wide. So pretty large uh, in general um, and uh, I personally quite like this kind of strap because it really does strap on you know really good and uh, hard to your wrist, very comfortable as well when it's a thicker strap and it creates quite a, a nicer impression visually, visually as well. Uh, two year warranty as well, so you are covered for a couple of years in case anything should go wrong. Now the movement, they specify it as a Swiss quartz movement and say nothing more. Um, so chances are it's a Ronda quartz, I'm not going to lie, I can't, I haven't been able to find out the exact specific movement. Uh, but it is Swiss made, so you know it will be one of those Swiss suppliers. So uh, it's quartz as well, so I highly doubt anything's going to go wrong with the movement. Something could potentially go wrong with the um, fancy setting system, however the movement itself is most likely going to be pretty good moving forward. Okay, so 
let's have a look at it uh, section by section. So the dial itself is actually relatively straightforward. Um, it's actually more or less exactly the same as the Trident, as you can see, just slightly different color scheme. So we have Swiss made, applied, we have the Nove or Nove logo uh, applied at the top as well. A uh, nice pitched uh, sword hands there. You can see the reflection there because they're pitched. Let's think about the loom, just the hands are loomed. So this is the daylight shot, nothing too mental. Um, I'll show you a nighttime shot now. But, uh, you know, the, the strength is average, nothing to, to write home about, really. Uh, the rest of the uh, case has, uh, uh, the rest of the dial, sorry, is just uh, epitomized by these very slight little uh, numbers, uh, hour markers, these little tiny pills uh, neatly applied with, uh, you know, neat, uh, made in a neat way, and they're accurately applied. So you can't really complain too much. Very simple design, really. Um, but I think with the complexities of the rest of the case, it actually works quite well. It's very bold, very simple as well. Uh, and you know, what it has done is done well. So moving on to the case, now this is where the, the watch really comes into its own. I mean, look at the complexities of this case. It is really, really splendid. Uh, first of all, we have this uh, wooden central barrel. And on the bezel, we have these screws. It's wood, so it is softer than metal. It probably is gonna scratch and it probably is gonna dent if you're not careful, so just be aware of that. In time, it may even fade as well. However, that's not to say it doesn't look great because as you can see, you know, I mentioned this exoskeleton. We've got this uh, this top section here uh, with this sort of like shimmery blasted finish to it. Hard to describe really, that's secured with these screws. And then we have this brushed and polished uh, bottom section as well with this Nove logo. Um, either side, so you can see we have it either side here. Again, very neatly done. And then if you look at the underside, you can see the rest of the wood surrounding the outside here. So very nice uh, way that the wood flows throughout the entirety of the case there. Um, and then we go to this really, really funky setting system. I mean, look at that, that is pretty awesome and I absolutely love it. So what you do is it's screwed tight screw down system it says just here. So untight, tighten it um, until it doesn't go any further. Don't force it obviously. And then what you do is you push it once to advance by a minute. And then you hold down for a few seconds and it will automatically advance an hour. So you can only go one way. You can only go forwards in time, which is a bit of a pain if you're setting it. Um, and likewise, you know, if you change time zones and you need it to go back an hour, you'll have to advance it 11 hours. So a little bit of a pain in that way, in that regard. However, it's a very, very funky way of doing it. Um, you know, in reality, the only reason behind uh, them doing this this way is that they don't, you don't have a crown anymore. So if you really, really despise crowns, then this is the watch for you, obviously, because it's crownless and you have this uh, alternative system. However, if you do quite ha like crowns, you know, it, it could potentially be a bit of a pain in the bum if you do need to change it regularly. Obviously, if you just need to change it twice a year, like normal people, and you don't travel too much, then that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the overall construction quality of the case is just top notch. I mean, you can see it, um, it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, at every single angle, there's something interesting going on and I absolutely love it. So they've done a really good job on creating something different and unique, just like the Trident. So they've done a really good job on that. Uh, the strap, uh, very nice thick leather. I like the way it's blue to match the case as well. And obviously the blue flows through from the dial also. Sporty red on the underside, so I do like that. Uh, decent quality uh, leather, very soft, very supple, straight out of the box really really comfortable and easy to wear as well. Uh, the buckle is quite interesting as well so we have a very deep Nove um, logo embossed on the end there it's literally just a pin so to use it you'll just slip the buckle on like so and push the pin into the hole that you want to uh, have as your your fitting and then you just slip slip the loops on. The slips are a little bit loose, um, so I do find sometimes they, they come off, uh, however, not that often. Okay, let's get the macro lens on and have a look at it in closer detail. 
Okay, so starting off with the dial, we can see here we have our logo and our hour markers, all very nice and neatly done. Maybe the logo could be a little bit deeper, same goes for the Swiss made there. But you can also see a very nice, subtle, textury kind of uh, colour to the dial, which is nice. Here's our hands pitched, as you can see, with our blue finishing to them. Again, nice and neatly done. Moving on to the case then. Here's our wooden bezel, and you can see there, I've got a little mark there already, but all in all, very nice color, nice and deep. We have the little uh, uh, screws as well. And moving on to the bottom of the case, have this first section, and we have the bottom section here with that little Nove uh, section looking very nice and neat and some decent finishing all the way around there moving on to the case back so continuing with the uh, the wood we have this sort of wooden outer perimeter and then we move into our case back in our uh, screw down crown system so there we go nice neat uh, construction very well uh, designed and developed as well very clever and it's actually you know quite pleasant to use because you unscrew that and it's got a lovely lovely thread to it and it just looks great and it's cool to use as well you know something a bit different basically so moving on to the strap here we have our leather top and our stitching as well sort of like a, a light brown stitching to go with the uh, the wood color and flipping it over Got our nice sporty red Novo printed on the underside. You can see how nice and soft that grain is as well. And then finally moving on to the buckle. It's a Novo logo. Very nice and deeply done there. And nice blue finishing as well uh, to match the case. Okay. Do you know what I love? I love it when someone makes something different. Uh, in a world where there's so many watches which look the same, or so many watches are homages, uh, take design cues from something else, you know, it's refreshing to see something a bit unique and a bit different, and still relatively affordable as well. And Nove or Nove, they do a really good job on that. I mean, it was a perfect example with the Trident, you know, super, super thin uh, diver with a really unique um, bezel ratcheting system as well. Um, for a relatively cheap price. And they've done it again with the Craftsman. Um, just the case in general is a work of art, really is. And the screw down case back locking system might be a bit fiddly to use. Uh, and in some, you know, some people might feel it's a little bit of a gimmick, a marketing gimmick, perhaps it is. However, there's no denying it is very well executed, it's very cool, and it's very different as well. And some of us, watch fans out there, that's what we need, that's what we want, something a bit different. So the Craftsman is certainly one of those watches. Really well built as well, you know, not a single flaw on it really, um, and I enjoy wearing it. It's very, very comfortable to wear. It looks great on because, I mean, it's it's got so much character to it, you know, so much interesting stuff going on all at once. Um, obviously that will cater to a certain audience, yes, I'm not denying that. Um, however, if this is your kind of thing, thing then this is a very, very good watch uh, to, uh, to consider, basically. So this was the Nove Craftsman. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment your thoughts as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.